humans welcome to Starlight and Stitches thank you so much for joining me here today if you've been here before and you're coming back thanks I really appreciate it and I hope you've remembered to subscribe if you're new welcome to Alice Land here in Alice Land we like to talk about yarny stuff crochet we do crochet book reviews and yarn hauls and end of the month finished project videos so if you think that's something you might like all kinds of crafty goodness hit subscribe join my subscribers because my subscribers are the best so if you are also the best come and join us in our happy little positive place here on the internet so this is a bonus video for Saturday um, I will be doing another two more in the following Saturdays um, we are looking at some Christmas crochet books that I have got um, to have a look through so the same as I have done through all my crochet book reviews it's not really a review of the book is just to look through the patterns so then you can have a look at the books before you buy it and see if it's something that you might enjoy now today we are looking at this one all i want for christmas is yarn and this is by lindsay nunes and i actually pre-ordered this this is a brand new book that's out this year and i only received it a couple of weeks ago so it's brand new it is this one there is 30 projects in this book now what i like about this book i have had a good look through it is the projects range from very small little things that won't take you long at all to some slightly bigger projects so you've got some nice options of things going on in here so let's have a little look through this book now what I'm going to do is sorry I've got an itchy nose oh, what I'm going to do is my usual I'm going to flick through the book I'm going to put up pictures here of the patterns that we are looking at at the end of this book I would like to know if this is your kind of thing and if it is which is your favorite project in the book now you guys know me I like cutesy things amigurumi kind of things um things with faces on. <laughs> this book is a bit more traditional, so hopefully it will suit um, kind of people that are on the opposite end of the scale to me. Um, like last book that we looked at, the cr last Christmas book, um, there was like holly berries with little eyes and cute little kawaii faces. This is a bit more kind of normal. <laughs> it's not, um, yeah, it's not that kind of kawaii style. So hopefully there is something in here for you. Now, this is our lovely artist here this is our lovely crochet artist Lindsay who has written this book I will put all her links down below um, to her website and her socials so that if you like this book you can check out her other stuff as well so we can support our wonderful artists who are making these awesome books for us so the lovely Lindsay who's made this book is um, the face behind Lottie and Albert that's kind of her company name and she's a designer of popular modern crochet patterns she shares her tutorials and makes on Instagram and YouTube to over 40,000 followers alongside designing her own patterns she's worked in book and magazine publishing for over 10 years as commissioning editor for Molly Makes magazine as a yarn ambassador for Hobbycraft and has appeared as a guest judge on Kirsty Allsop's Handmade Christmas so she really knows her stuff now a full-time crochet designer, Lindsay runs the popular monthly subscription box, Curate Crochet Box, as well as writing crochet patterns for yarn companies, magazines and books, teaching at festivals and exhibiting at yarn shows. So, as we start out in the book, we've got lots of pages at the beginning, as usual, that give us things like glossary of stitches and techniques. We've got basic stitches and techniques, special stitches and techniques, which is great because then if you're not sure on anything, um, you can reference these bits at the beginning and just kind of refresh your brain or get to know what we're doing better. So it's really good we've got all those lovely pages at the beginning that kind of help us out. So let me just give you a little brief little glossary there. That's pretty cool. Breaks everything down for us. Um, we've got like the basic stitches here and then we go on to the more intricate ones a bit further on so let's get into the patterns the first pattern that we have is this scalloped advent calendar I'm going to go through these quite quickly because there's 30 in this book so I don't want to be dragging it out too long so I'm just going to show you what we've got so we've got the scalloped advent calendar the next pattern that we get is the triangle berries hoop see what I mean these are a bit more traditional sort of patterns after that one we have the super chunky wreath then we have a string of vintage lights and again these can be done in whatever colors and um, yarns you want to use as long as you use the appropriate hook size for your yarn um, for example these string lights I would do them in rainbow colors bright rainbow colors but they're really nice in these muted colors and this will suit a lot of other people not everyone has my crazy bonkers taste some people like tasteful <laughs> 
Then we've got the paper chain. Again, you can do those in any colours you want. We've got this amazing fa-la-la bunting. That's very cool. After that, we have a Scandi tree wall hanging. There's um, actually a grid pattern for this as well, which is handy. But that's very nice. Then we have a boho stocking. Then we come on to table decorations. So we've got bunny tail napkin rings. Not sure what bunnies have got to do with Christmas, but we've got bunny tail napkin rings. Reusable crackers, which they show us two different ways of doing it. Once with the pattern going lengthways and once with it going widthways. We've got holly leaf mats and berry coasters. Then we have this lovely orange sliced garland. After that, we've got some decorations for the tree. So we start with a tasseled bauble. And again, you can do them in whatever colours you like. We've got some chunky tree swag. So a lot of people don't like using tinsel and things like that. It's not great for the environment unless you're going to use it for like 500 years. But this kind of chunky tree swag, you can make it um, out of more sustainable things like a cotton yarn, for example. Then we've got this, oh, I like this, Spotty Star Tree Topper. I like that very much. That's nice and chunky. Then we've got a super fluffy tree skirt. Then a snowflake present topper. They're nice little snowflakes. And then we've got some wearables, which you can make as gifts. So we start with a luxe Santa hat and they do two sizes. They've got an adult size and a child size. Then we have the Fair Isle hat. That's a nice pattern. Then we've got some spot on slipper socks. I like these little kind of cheetah print type pattern on there. And then we have a rainbow scarf. And again, think of all the different color combinations that you could make these in. I quite like this um, stitch pattern on this scarf actually. That's really nice. Then we've got the bit that I like the best and it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's like the little characters and things. So we've got a Christmas pudding. Then we have a gingerbread man then we've got the snowman after the snowman we have a little penguin and we've got a Santa Claus oh there's one more got a little reindeer as well so we've got 30 things in this book now I know I just whizzed through them but I tried to kind of fit everything in but not drag it out too long because I know that a lot of people don't watch the videos to the end so I wanted to get it all in. Um, like I say this book is a bit more traditional than my style but I know that a lot of people are going to love this um, and I can edit this, the patterns in here to make them more my thing so colour wise for example the kind of muted tones and things I can chuck a bit of Alice bonkersness on there and make it more my style with like bright colours and rainbows and gaudiness. Um, but I think this is lovely. It's a really nice book. Like I say, it's brand new. Um, recommended retail prices on this. UK is $12.99. US is $19.99. And Canadian is $24.99. And it's published by HarperCollins. I got this direct from her website. So I don't know if there's anywhere else that's selling it. I'm not sure. But I got this direct from the website, which I will link underneath. The patterns in this are lovely. Very different, actually, from what we looked at in our first Christmas crochet book. So I hope that this book may also give you some inspiration. It's probably out of the ones that I've got to show you. This was the most expensive one, I believe. But I did get it because I knew it was brand new. Um, so I actually pre-ordered it and made sure I had it as soon as it was out. Um, lovely little book. Thank you very much, Lindsay Nunes, for releasing this for us. Um, obviously, the characters are my favourite. I love those. I think the style of them is really cool and not too difficult by the look of it. Um, if you want just something simple and cute and nice, they're great. And all those table decorations and tree decorations and all sorts of bits and pieces, wearables as well. So you've got a really nice mix of stuff in there. Let me know what you think of this book. And if this has been helpful and did you know this book existed because I actually stumbled across it by accident and I'm really pleased that I did. So I'm very happy I've got this. Let me know what you think. I will see you on Wednesday for a normal video and then we'll be back again next Saturday for another Christmas crochet book review. Whew, right. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. I love you very much and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye bye.